The Firewall Sorcerer Loveling build has everything we need. Amazing Wave Clear, which comes second to none for clearing dungeons or strongholds. High crit chance and vulnerable for taking down powerful single target enemies, and even some survivability through freeze and immunity skills, which will get us out of some sticky situations. And the Inferno Ultimate looks pretty awesome too. Let's go over our abilities. High single target damage and resource regen with Fireball that pierces through burning enemies. Fireball is our core skill and our main way of dealing damage. Fireball supplements our Fireball for incredibly fast wave clearing. Inferno pulls together our mobs, deals wave damage, and makes our pyromancy skills cost no mana. Frost Nova is both defensive and offensive, freezing enemies and making them vulnerable. Flame Shield is our get out of jail free card offering immunity and even invincibility. For our skill tree, we're going Flickering Fireball, 5 points to Greater Fireball, Devastation as a stepping stone, 3 points in elemental dominance for extra damage above 50 mana, Mystical Flame Shield our immunity skill, Glass Cannon 3 points for extra damage, Mystical Frost Nova our freeze and vulnerability skill, Precision Magic 3 for lucky hit chance, 1 in Align the Elements, damage reduction versus elites, 1 in Mana Shield for damage reduction, 1 in protection for the barrier, 3 points in each of these, Inner Flames for damage, Devouring Blaze for crit damage, Crippling Flames for Immobilize. Mage's Firewall is our best wave clearing option. Supreme Inferno for our ultimate, 3 in each of these again, Fiery Surge for mana regen, Endless Pyre increased burning damage, Warmth for healing over time. Bustion is our key passive giving 20% bonus damage and 2% extra for every different source of burning we apply. This included the 10 skill points from Renown. Sorcerers have a special system called enchantments. We unlock a slot at level 15 through a priority quest, and the second slot is unlocked at level 30. Each skill will have an enchantment effect listed at the bottom. For this build, I highly recommend Fireball in your first slot. This gives amazing splash damage when any mob dies. For the second slot, I recommend Firewall. The Firewall enchantment makes any burning damage have a chance at making two more firewalls automatically. Both of these options are immediately noticeable and are a huge boost to clearing mobs in the early leveling. We have a few options from the Codex of Power that are going to take this build to the next level. I'm really leveling the Elementalist aspect comboed with the aspect of three curses. This will give our fireballs a 30% crit chance at full mana if we place it on our amulet, and a 20-40% to 40 crit damage increase which equates to a huge amount of damage. Aspect of Control is another great legendary aspect. We immobilize enemies naturally through burn damage. The Incendiary aspect gives us a 12% chance to restore 10 mana which helps us keep our mana high. This aspect is great if you can find it. It adds Immobilize to our Flame Shield, which complements our Fireball nicely. For more consistent but lesser damage, switch out Elementalist and Three Curses for Edge Masters and Expectant. To start out engagements as the Firewall Sorcerer, we're always going to use Fireball since we get a high rate of critical chance above 100 mana. If there's a lot of trash enemies, we're going to spam Firewall. Be strategic with your Firewall placement since mobs will just run out of it. For a group of strong enemies, use Inferno and spam a combination of both fireballs and firewalls for huge burst damage. If you get CC'd or just need a minute to breathe in a group of enemies, pop flame shield to immobilize enemies and get immunity to do whatever you need to do. Frost Nova is really helpful for groups of difficult enemies by freezing them and making them vulnerable for big burst damage. Frost Nova also makes bosses vulnerable for an extended amount of time. Try to use flickering fireball in between firewall and fireball to keep your mana maxed out. Equipment affixes aren't too important during leveling, but if you can find these, they help a lot. Ranks to fireball on gloves, ranks to firewall on pants, ranks to frost nova and flame shield on feet. On our weapons, look for core skill damage, vulnerable damage, and crit damage. And on accessories, look for crit chance and vulnerable damage. Beyond that, any piece that has intelligence or all stat is going to be a pretty great addition. The fact of the matter is, equipment is switched out so quickly during the early leveling process, just remember not to hinder your leveling by focusing on stats and spending too much time in menus. For gems on weapons, we're going for emeralds for crit damage to vulnerable, and for armor, rubies for the maximum life increase. Transitioning into endgame, a sorcerer can depend on what unique items you find. Fireball and Endgame works really well with Gloves of the Illuminator. Switch over to the key passive Esu's Ferocity, which synergizes with the legendary aspect that gives attack speed for both effects being triggered. And the unique Esu's Heirloom also gives an interesting bonus for even more crit chance. Ice Shard or Blizzard Sorcerer may be a better option if you get unlucky landing any unique items, as this build works really well even without uniques. Thanks for watching my Sorcerer build guide. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck and have fun.